Hello friends, this video on DNL flop elements part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's see the next element lanthanum and here you will pay some attention, little tricky part here. So lanthanum 57, so let's start with this order 1s2, 2s2. Then we have 2p6. 3s2, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, then we have 3p6, 4s2, 3p6, 4s2, after 4s2 we have 3d10, 3d10 and then we have 4p6, 4p6 and then we have 5s2, 5s2 and then we have 4d10. 10 and then we have 5p6 and then we have 6s2 and then we have 4f and 5d so let's put 4f and 5d without any number of electrons let's count the electron 2 4 6 8 10 16 18 28 34 36 46 and this is 646 and 654. Nearest electronic configuration is uh, for the noble gases xenon 54. So till here we have 54. That is my xenon. Right? Then we have how much? 57, 3 left. So 2 is going to uh, 6s. That is 56, one more remaining. So 1 will go to where? Will it go to F or D? That is a doubt here. Right? Because as per the world principle, the electrons should go to F. But that is not true. 4F and 5D, when they are empty, 5D has lower energy. So this electron will go to 5D1. Okay. So the electronic configuration for lanthanum will be what? It will be xenon, 6S2, 4F0, 5d1. So since 5 4 f0, you can remove it off actually. So it is xenon 6s2 5d1. Now if you add one more electron, that is a trick here. The moment you add one more electron now here, what happens is now d orbital is not empty. D orbital has electrons. So the energy of d orbital has increased now. Now the next electron will go to f orbital. And that's why if you see there is no 57 here. So the 57 is actually part of lanthanide series. That is F block element. So atomic uh, element with atomic number 58, 59, these are not D block element here because the last electron is not entering D block here. Please pay attention here. This is fine. Here the last electron entered D block element. So this was a, uh, the last electron entered D orbital. So this was a D block element. This is electron atomic number 57. If you talk about element atomic number 58, that is not part of D block. The moment you have atomic number 58, the next electron actually will enter 4f. Why? Because now, since D has one electron, the atomic the energy of the D orbital has increased. So I'm telling you the above principle is not strictly followed here because the D these orbitals, the higher orbitals, the energy difference between the consecutive orbitals is very less. But the moment D has now one electron, the energy level has increased for D orbital. So the next electron will go to 4F electron orbital. And thus 58 is my F block. In fact, 59 is also my F block element. Okay. So the next F block or D block element we see is 72. So if you talk about 72, 72 is what HF hafnium. 72. If you fill the electronic configuration, my nearest is 54. Xenon takes care of 54. And then I have written these guys, right? 6s, 4f, and 3d. So 72, xenon takes care of 54, then 256, and then 157. Okay, but after that, the next electrons will go to f orbital. So f can hold at the max, how much? 14 electron. Right? So 57, and it will hold 14 electrons. So 57 plus 14 is how much? 60. 57 plus 40 is 71. 
right? So one electron is pending, so one electron now will go to d orbital. So the hafnium, the electronic configuration will be actually xenon. Since the 4f orbital is filled, we can uh, we we can uh, choose not to write anything about that. So this will be the electronic configuration of this. Hope you understand. Or we can actually write uh, 6s2, 5d2, and also we can write 4f14 if you want. Actually, you have to write, yeah, we have to write that. Correct. This is the electronic configuration of hafnium. Same thing for tantalum 73. So you have to just add one to this. So we'll write the uh, xenon 6s2 4f14. We'll just write as it is. And 5d2 instead of 2, 2 it will be 5d3. Correct. So here we are not seeing the energy difference between S and D because we have F somewhere coming in between. Because uh, 6s and 5d, there is a 4f orbital between. So we will not see the trick as we have seen in this particular five fifth uh, period, correct? Because there was no f orbital between uh, the s and d. So we have seen that uh, my s orbital has only one electron in most of the electronic configuration and d had more electron. But here we see the s is filled in most of the case. Why? Because between s and d there is f orbital also coming into play. Okay. Then we have uh, W tungsten 74 same thing xenon 6s2 4f 14 and then we'll give 5d 4 one electron extra same thing for re that is rhenium 75 right so here same thing xenon will take care of 54 then 4s2 256 then 4f14 that is 70 and then 5d5 that is 75. These guys are taking care of 70 electrons. Okay. And then after that we have osmium 76. OS is 76. So this guy is will actually take care of 70. Correct. And then 5d6 will take care of 6 electron. Okay. Then after osmium we have iridium. IR 77 77 again so my 70 is taken care by xenon 6s2 and 4f 14 this takes care of 17 and this my 5d7 will take care of the best 7 electron 77 okay after that we have pt that is platinum platinum is 78 same thing will apply here also that is xenon 6s2 4s14 5d8. Now, in this case, there is an exception. In fact, this is one of the biggest exception of the above principles. Yeah, above principle is nothing but simplification of the actual complex logic running in the atom. So, if you see the quantum physics, you will see that they have this wave equation that describes the trajectory of electron. It's pretty complex that uh, the energy of the orbitals are pretty complex and this is just a simplified version. So strictly speaking here the above principle won't work here. So here what happens is one electron moves from S to D and becomes 4S this right here. So this becomes xenon 6S1, 4F14 and 5D. This is the electronic configuration of platinum. Please remember this. This is the exception here. And this is electron moves from here to make this 6s1 half filled uh, stable. I mean, see the energy difference between these orbitals are something little complex. You just can't see that this is the flow of energy level based on the power principle. Okay. The next is gold. Gold is 79. Here 70 electrons are again taken care by these guys. Xenon. 6s2, 4f14, this case of 70 electrons, 9 electron will go to 39. Again, here is a logical shift of one electron 
to make it more stable because in this I'm getting 6s1 half stable, 4f14 full stable, 5d10 full stable. This is the electronic configuration of gold. Similarly, the next element is mercury Hg. This is pretty simple. So you have 80, 70 electrons are taken care by xenon, 6x2 and 4f14. The next 10 electron goes in 5d10. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.